right, everyone, good to see you. Uh, Happy New Year. We're almost there, right, as far as the recording of this. Uh, New Year's Eve 2022, yeah. And I got, I'm got turning the big 5-0 next week, so uh, interesting time for all of us, to say the least. Hey, th- this should be an easy one. Tom Petty, I won't back down, three chords. It's just a matter how you play it, but let's get into it. Um, two different ways you can play the intro, or at least play it throughout the course of the song. E minor chord, D chord, and a G. You could also uh, palm mute those. So all we're doing there is uh, off of each chord, E minor chord, I'm just palm muting the uh, second fret fourth string. And then I'm going to release it to get the D, D note. Right? So just. So it's one count for the E minor, one count for the D, and two counts for the G. I would use some palm muting there just to kind of give it some dynamics. If not, strum it. And, and I'm strumming it like this. Right? And you're going to do that twice. And then the second time around, we're going to just change the, the rhythm pattern here. Instead of holding, uh, we're going to just kind of rearrange the first and second chord here, and we're going to substitute the G for the C. So we're playing this so far. Here's changes. So we're just going to hold that E minor, uh, I guess, quicker? Right, so here's what we've been doing. Twice. So you're holding the, the, the first chord a little bit longer, and you're going to substitute the G for the C that third time around. And then the fourth time, we go back to what we've already been doing. All right, and then the won't back down part, what I've been doing is it, you're going to start on a G. And all I'm doing there is this G with the open B string, and I come in to hit the C note. Right there, right? So it's going to be C and then G, D, G, C. So that G chord is going to be between those two chords there all the time, right? basically so just play along with it listen to it but those are the main the main parts of the song and if you can play those just listen to the timing you're good to go see you on the next one later see how this sounds uh, I think it's doable um, you're gonna tell me obviously because you always do um, Guns N' Roses Sweet Child of Mine uh, we're gonna break this down to its most basic possible form the acoustic guitar keep in mind you're gonna have to tune your guitar down a half step when you want to play along to the record I am not tuned down a half step the reason being is that most people if you've got your acoustic guitar hanging around and you want to learn this tune you're not you're tuned down you're in standard tuning so we're gonna approach it that way uh, but you can do it any way you like. So, uh, but the chord structure is fairly simple: a D, the C add nine, but I also have a C in there. You know, the full open C chord, the G. We've got an E minor in there, uh, an A minor, excuse me, A minor, the E minor, and I've got a B in there as well. So, that's kind of the the, the, the chords we're using. 
the structure. I mean, I know there's a lot going on in the full full band version, um, but when you break it down, it's actually very, very, I think, doable. Um, so give it a listen. Hopefully you like this. Uh, you know, again, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up for this video, any other video. Uh, that goes a long way. It really, really does. So I, I do appreciate that. But let's get into this one. Sweet Child of Mine, Guns N' Roses. So here we go. We're going to dive right into this one again. Acoustic only, Sweet Child of Mine. Um, it's, good. it's a fun one to play. Now keep in mind, if you're going to play along to the record, you've got to tune down a half step. Um, I think all, if not most, if not all of Guns N' Roses is down a half step. I could be wrong, but um, this song in particular is down a half step. So if you're going to play to the album, you've got to tune your guitars down a half step. I'm not doing that because odds are people picking up their acoustic guitar are already in standard tuning. So we'll keep it simple. Uh, again, D chord. C add 9 is what I typically do. G. D. You need to know an A. All right, we got an E minor in there. I just play a straight up B for one part of the song. All right, and I think you've got most of the chords there. And if you aren't familiar with Guns N' Roses or, you know, you're, you know a little bit, there's a commercial out there now. I don't even know which commercial it is, but um, Slash is auditioning for a band, and lo and behold, he's playing this song. So that must have been some production meeting. Curious how that went. Uh, but let's get into it. So it's going to be, a, and again, there's a whole intro, you know, electric guitar intro. We're going to avoid that. We're going to just play the C, the G, and the D, and back to the D. Okay, so D, C add 9, G, D. Those are the chords we're playing. So C here, C add 9, to the G, back to the D. And I would just start the song like this. a little bit um, with these chords. So you can keep that real simple. Continue that, you go into the chorus. Whoa. And I'll play a full C there instead of the C add nine. solo fill that comes in right after the first chorus going to the second verse. I just tend to be a little creative and do this. So I'm just kind of going. So I'm going suspended four on the D. To either a D or a suspended two, I leave that up to you. To the C add nine, and I'm taking my pinky off. You can see that to get that open E, high E open. To the G, and I don't do. I just kind of keep it as is, right? To the D. We're gonna go back to the verse now. You got bass notes in there you can use too. So you got your open D for the D chord. You've got the uh, C note, which is the third fret of the fifth string, and then the third fret of the sixth string for the G. All right. We're going to go back into the chorus, which is the A. And here's a little, if you want to kind of work on some dynamics, being that the chorus is, is you know, sung twice, basically. 
Go to that C add nine. Second time, A. And then just go with the full C. Subtle differences, but they could make a big difference in terms of, you know, just dynamically how you're hearing it, okay? Back into what we've done. And now we're going to get into like the solo and the outro because everything we've just kind of, everything we've just learned, it's almost like the song is cut in half and things change as far as I remember. So um, we're going to E minor to the C to that B to the A minor. You can hear it now. And you're going to repeat that, I don't know, maybe four times. I don't have that written down in front of me right now, uh, the, the exact specifics there. All right. And then there's going to be like kind of a buildup from that progression. Back to the E minor. We're going to go to a G now. Back to the A. C, D, G. So there's a big, uh, there's a quick turnaround back into that, that E minor bass. So you're going to go. I hear that G in there. I don't know if it's quite in there, but we're kind of making this our own. But I think that G is a cool little turnaround, you know, to go back into the uh, um, the E minor because they work well together. And that's kind of the, the tune right there. So it's just a matter of building that piece of it out, dragging it out. How many times? I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but the ending is these two different patterns. E minor. The C. To the B. And then it's going to uh, it's going to change up again E minor E minor G A minor C D to that quick G uh, and I think at the very end, there's a, there's a, you're gonna hold that C. I think it, if I remember correctly, I'm just thinking about this now. So you're gonna hold that C for a couple hits to the D, and it just kind of goes out from there. So hopefully this helps you out. Again, good, good for solo. Um, solo acoustic, you know, by yourself or a duo. Uh, enjoy it, and I will see you on the next video. That was pretty much the whole song, so if you paid attention to that, I think you, you, you got it already. Um, Hell's Bells, ACDC. Not typically the type of tune you'd hear on the acoustic guitar, but uh, I've been saying this for a very long time. I mean, there's there are some big songs, heavy songs, and if you strip it down to an acoustic guitar, uh, it could be just as good, just as powerful. still can carry that, that music, and I think this is certainly one of them. So uh, I've been sitting on this one for, for several years now. Why I haven't done it yet, I don't know. But we'll get into it. Um, not going to be note for note, but I think it's enough to get you uh, through it if you're doing kind of like an open mic, solo acoustic. I think this should work. Uh, a minor. D. C. G. Kind of walk on a bass line in there from the C to the B. We don't see that. Uh, there's an E. Did we do that one already? I think, that, I think that's all of it. So we'll go through it. Um, I will, at the end of this video... I'll walk you through how I do that uh, because that could be a little daunting, especially if you're kind of new to just learning songs. I mean, so I don't want it to be a deterrent, you know, right out of the gate here. So A minor chord is all we need, and there we go. That's it, right? So um, let's get into it. So what we're doing here is uh, I'm just going to kind of hold on that A minor. 
And what I'm doing for that effect, I'm literally just, I'm just kind of hitting those middle three or four strings, I guess three, uh, B string, G string, D string. And I'm hitting that open A with it as well. Just for effect, so make it your own. And then, so it's gonna, I'm going to a C chord, and then I'm gonna walk it down to the B note, to the A minor again. Now you can do it C add nine, walk it down that way but it's and that's the verse you know rolling thunder pouring rain make it your own because this is kind of what we're doing here right so now there's going to be that that, that pre-chorus D C, G, D. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, as I'm watching myself do this, I'm doing a lot, like I told you, that open, open strings to the A minor. I'm kind of doing the same thing on that D. I'm just kind of giving it a little something other than just strumming. So make it your own. D to C to the G. Twice. Then we go to the E. And I hold it, and then we get to the Hell's Bells, back to that A minor. So it's fairly straightforward. We're not really doing anything else. Look, I know there's a lot of things we're not doing that are on the album, and you know, when you got a full band, you can do different things, but if you're kind of doing this by yourself, campfire, again, open mic, solo, acoustic, whatever it might be, this should work. Um, so again, we'll go through it real quick and then we'll get into the arpeggiated intro. A minor. C, and you can play the C this way, you can play it this way, but you're going to walk that C to the B. And that open A, it just works in conjunction with the A minor chord. To the D. Same thing, and then E. It's D and the A. Hold that A, uh, hold that E. All right, so why don't we get into that next? Uh, and again, hopefully you like this video. Do me a favor, like, uh, subscribe, tell everyone about it, really, because um, by you liking it and even subscribing or vice versa, um, it means a lot to me and it just kind of shows that you, you dig this and uh, maybe it'll show other people as well that are into the same type of music that they might dig it too. So I, I appreciate it. Uh, let's get into that intro right now. So we're, all we're doing is holding the A minor chord. And I'm using my pinky to hit that third fret on the open E, or the uh, low E, high E string. Okay? That's the only variation we're doing. But pretty much everything is going to be built around this open E here. Uh, open A. Wow. Let's get this straight here. <clears throat> so your fifth string A. So I was completely wrong with that. <laughs> I'm going to be using my pinky on the B string of the third fret. I'm going to play it slow. We'll take a closer look at this. Uh, I'll try to do it where you can see my picking attack as well as the, 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 the fingers and what we're doing, okay? couple bum notes there, but it, it shows you how I'm doing this. I'm starting out with the open A to the open E. That open E kind of just rings and it drones. It just kind of, it's ringing out there. Okay, so open A to that open E to the open A again to the third fret of the B string. 
back to the open A. So we're just kind of going back and forth between those notes. So and we're also going to, when we hit this note, that B string, we're going to be picking the other notes of that A minor chord, basically. And the turnaround, C, B, and that open A would be in conjunction with the A minor chord. So you, when you get to that A, you're already starting the riff all over again. So you got to go right back into that high E string, okay? Right? Maybe I'd get it right one of these days. That's kind of it in a nutshell. I mean, make it your own, but that's kind of how I'm doing it. Uh, every time I do it, it seems I seem to do it a little bit differently, but you've got those certain notes in there you need to hit just to kind of make it work. Thank you. See you on the next one.